What if instead of doing a bunch of sales calls and demos, you could instead get SaaS clients for your agency doing a free trial and then converting that into a full-time customer? Is it possible? How do you do it? That's the question that Lori wanted the answer to. So let's dive into it. Jacob gave me the idea of eliminating demo calls. And that actually seems perfect for me. I'm doing trials now because I was doing the calls, then offering a trial. And yeah, he just said it. And I was like, wait, whoa, instead of like book a call with me, like a strategy call, it's book the sign up and book the onboarding call. And then I have Extendly doing the onboarding call. But I guess like you, if you have any tips to make this work. I know. <laughs> Let me map this out for you. <laughs> okay. okay. So here, okay. We're going to do the same thing. You got your audience, right? And then you've got a now. So here you're going to have what's called a squeeze page. This is important. Okay, so if you're trying to bypass a demo call, every niche is different. So this is this is where you can't declare, oh, this thing doesn't work. It will work in some niches, okay? And it will work based on how much trust and credibility you have as well, all right? So there, there are a couple of levers that must be pulled in order to make this work. So basically right now, what the sales funnel that you're doing looks like is this is a demo request. All right. Why do you do a demo? You do it to like, you do it to educate people, right? You do it. So they're like, Oh, I see how that works. So you, that means that all of the education, the, the bulk of the education is done here. If you're going to do a free trial, the education, where is it done then? Done in the free trial. It's done in two parts. This And this is really important, okay? It's done with a, a VSL. So a, and I have a video on this on YouTube, too, but Sam Ovens is the guy who is really well known for his, whatever, I can't remember what his funnel was called, but you have to educate enough here. And then you have to reverse engineer your team through the onboarding process. The onboard becomes your, your demo mechanism. So that means that the difference between this page and this page is this page can focus a lot on doing stuff like, like curiosity benefits, all that kind of stuff. You can like get a lot of, a lot of sizzle, Hey, results, promise results, that, that kind of thing, because all of the curiosity is going to be satisfied during the demo call. If you're going to go from here to sign up, meaning the person is going to have to put in their credit card. They're going to have to actually do that. They will not do that if you can't cover a couple, like you got to check off a couple boxes. So one of the boxes would be results. So a promise with a result. So that's why you can't rush straight to this thing. And when I promise in a result, whenever this is a mistake that people make when they're creating a VSL, when they're doing a webinar. As the moment you make a claim, like, hey, we get leads sub $8. You got to prove it. You have to like, so yeah, this is Lori. She's been, get, she's been using our system and she's got 10 new customers in the last two weeks. There better be a screenshot of Lori saying, I got 10 new people in the last whatever week. You can't make a promise without providing the proof. So many people, when they're doing these VSLs, they just go, I made all the pr unique promises. They didn't believe you. So you have to load up with proof outcomes on this free thing. The whole time they're thinking, is this going to be worth my time? Should I do this? Should I pull up my credit card, even though it's free, 
but I did that once before and they charged me and I had to chase them for a charge back. All of that pain. It's like, you have to like tip the scales of pain in your favor. So you got to show outcomes. You got to show proof. You got to show results. And you're going to have to lean heavily on those things heavily. What most people want to do is lean heavily on the demo. Here's my tool. Here's my tool. Here's my tool. No, that is the way our brains work. Your brain will tell you to do that. And that is wrong. That will not work. You have got to focus on the outcomes that they are wanting and then prove those any way you can. And there's so many, there's not a wrong way to prove things, but that is what you have to do. And then when people actually do opt in for the free trial, because it's a good offer, but it's only a good offer if they believe you, then- Can I ask a question real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah. So a new agency like myself, what would you, with no record, obviously, of any results, what would you suggest using? Would you use the high level success and the show that people that have used high level? No, I always say this thing, lift where you stand. Right. So if you haven't got results, don't use somebody else's results because that's disingenuous and you don't need a right. lot of results, but just go, go to, go to the business, go to the person and show them what you have. Okay. Just be like, just be yourself and say, we have got this amazing system. This is what it does. And even if you have to say, I'm going to put 500 bucks of my own ad money towards your ad account, and we're going to get these leads, we're going to get these results. Even if you have to do that, that is the best way to start getting these results. Okay. Now it's Lori, it's your next challenge. This is not going to be a walk in the park. You're not just going to walk in and boom, one day you're just like, bam, here I crush it. And it might not be the right thing for you. Like we have people getting 50, 70 new customers every month and they're just sticking with the thing that works. Okay. It's not to say you can't do this, but you have to understand the pieces of the puzzle that are here. Trust, education, proof, results. That, that stuff all has to be, those ingredients have to be put somewhere. And before that credit card comes out, even though they're buying nothing, they're buying something. You understand? Yeah. And I think I got a lot of this in place already, except the results specifically for IV therapy, which I'll have soon because the client's on board in this week. Yeah. And just take time on that VSL, make it good, show outcomes and just go through all of when you know, the pain points, I have to chase the agency. My leads don't show up. My leads don't convert. Like you have to So most people hate chasing down these leads boom, here's your claim. Okay. So problem. Okay. Problem, promise, proof, problem, promise, proof. You can't say, Hey, I solved this problem. That's your promise. And then not back it up. So that's just the thing. And you can use your creativity to back that up, but just that's, that's what has to be done in order for you to do in order for you to convert a lead into a trial, but understand you're doing a demo one way or another. Either your onboarding team is going to be doing the demo or a salesperson is going to be doing the demo.